Hi, Teacher Judy here, and today's art project is inspired by Alma Thomas. She was an African-American painter and art teacher. She's best known for these large abstract paintings filled with dense patterns of bright colors that almost mimic a mosaic pattern. Notice all the separate small brush strokes in various natural patterns. She often used circular patterns inspired by nature. All of her patterns were usually inspired by science or nature. As a child, she loved nature and she would look at her garden and watch as it changed. She would hear the wind playing music in the trees. She loved to watch the grass color change after it rained. All of these things inspired her artwork. This blue painting is hanging in the White House because the Obamas were big fans of Alma Thomas. Her artwork is a perfect way to study color. She was very interested in the power and effect of color. So let's get into our project. Here's an example of one that I just did. I did it with watercolor. So you can basically, if you have watercolors, you could do it with watercolor. You wanna have a brush kind of like this, a cup of water, and I started with a circle. I used the can of beans to make my circle. You can use whatever you like to start a circle. And I basically went from this the circle and I worked my way right down the rainbow or the palette, also the color wheel from most similar colors. And then as I got all the way back to red, I just kept repeating it. You can do whatever sequence you like. That was of a nice simple sequence for me so um, you could choose what you'd like to do. I'm going to remind you of the one rule of art which is there is no mistakes. So even though that circle kind of got sloppy that's part of my artwork now because I will incorporate it into my art and it's really important to not feel like Oh, I don't like it. I want to start over. Because you learn the most from art by pushing through what you might think are mistakes. They might actually be gifts. So this one, I'm going to start a little different. I'm going to have two circles to start with, and then I'm going to let them collide.
The main thing with this project is to have a lot of fun and explore colors.